What's going on YouTube, GSN right here. So in today's video, we have some more information about the iOS 12.x exploits for jailbreaking. And also we have information about Uncover, which has just received a new version from Pound to Own. So I'm going to start with the iOS 12.x news first. If you remember, Minspark Zeng posted this, quote, port-oriented programming attack, proof number two, getting task for PAD0 and root on iOS 12.1.2. And then of course, this guy in here posted, quote, finally, Mac port-oriented programming aka POP attack proof number three get task for PAD0 and root on iOS 12.1.2 on iPhone XS Max with A12 core by BXL1989 and Spark Zinc. PAC bypass now. So why is this important? Well, what they achieved in here apparently as a team is very very important for jailbreaking. And of course we talk about task for PAD0 which is a kernel task port which has been used a lot in jailbreaking before and of course root access on iOS 12.1.2 which at this point in time happens to be the latest version for all the devices that support iOS 12. So yeah, why is this important? Where is the news? Well, I talked with Bay in here and he told me that he is going to release this research but he's not entirely sure when he's going to release it or how the important part is that he is going to release it now this is a research that he is doing with min spark zing and a lot of people told me that no min spark zing is never going to release this and of course bay is never going to release it either and so on well apparently it turns out that they do intend to release it we're just not sure when they're going to do that they're probably going to write a write-up because if you go ahead on base blog in here he recently made a post on January 17, which says, quote, the last line of defense, understanding and attacking Apple file system on iOS. And he goes to talk about the remounting before iOS 11.3, and then of course past that and everything in between. So he does post about iOS related stuff and about exploits and their bypasses and so on. And if you remember, MinSpark Zeng actually posted back in the summer, back in I think June or July, a rootfs remount for iOS 11.3 and iOS 11.3.1 which at that point did not have a publicly available remount which is necessary in order to be able to jailbreak properly the device. So yes, they do release their research, it's just that it takes time and of course they seem to be preferring to create actual write-ups with a lot of effort put into them and so on rather than just dropping a file and saying yeah here it is and that's pretty much what we released. So yeah, we're going to have to wait for this to be released but yes, they will release this at some point and when they will release this, this is going to be very very big for the jailbreak community because at first we get task for PAD0 which helps a lot the jailbreak development and then of course we get root already on iOS 12.1.2 so if you are interested in jailbreaking your device I wouldn't go past 12.1.2 in fact if you're running anything lower than 12.1.2 like 12.1 12.0.1 or 12.0 or even iOS 11.4.1 stay where you are I'm going to tell you what to update to in the future videos as new information unfolds. Let's switch now to Pound to Own and his Uncover. If you are using the Uncover jailbreak for iOS 11.4 beta 3 and lower, then a new version has been released today and it says in here Uncover version 2.1.3 is now out. If you go ahead in here, it says version 2.1.3 release and of course the uh, information about it is listed in here. It says general purpose of this update is bug fixes and performance improvements. However, there is an important warning that you should keep in mind if you're running the Uncover jailbreak. It says version Version 2.1 is the last version to support Substitute. Substitute support will be removed and Substrate, you know, the official Substrate from Soric, will automatically be installed in future versions. For the moment, they seem to be working alongside, but that's about to change. So yeah, if you're running the Uncovered Jailbreak on any of the supported versions, go ahead and update to version 2.1.3, the benefit of the bug fixes and the performance improvements Pound to Own has added into it. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. And until the next time, peace out.